Those two words do describe the Jaguar XFR Saloon and XKR Coupe perfectly. With 510 horsepower, these two cars are definitely not for opposing. These are the cars that would make the boys at BMW's M Division and Mercedes-Benz's AMG frown with worry. Apart from the earthquake-inducing stampede of horses, the XFR Saloon and XKR Coupe are also gifted with Hollywood good looks. Not enough with power and good looks, Jaguars are also rare in Malaysia, so if you do get one, the chances of running into another car in a different color at the executive floor of the corporate car park is a lot slimmer. Jaguar sales have picked up considerably since the new XF was introduced, a modern design that has captured the imagination of younger buyers while traditional buyers have not abandoned it. Take two. members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And from everyone at Sisoto, a very warm welcome to all of you. We present today not one but two stunning new Jaguars featuring the ultra efficient new 5 liters AV, ASJ V8 Gen 3 engines, the Jaguar XFR and Jaguar XKR. These cars speak for themselves, and I think I only need to say three things about them. Stunning performance, study, 5 liter V8 supercharged engines, generating staggering 510 PHP, 0 to 100 in less than 5 seconds, with ICMO. Two more beautiful and exceptionally fast new Jaguars to add to the range that embody Jaguar sporting luxury. Sisma Auto continues to be excited by Jaguar new product launches of the past few years. So, uh, XFR and XKR, yes. um, so what are they? What are these, these cars all about? I think this is the, well, the final steps of Jaguar's evolution back to their roots, which is around the sporting heart and uh, the epitome of sporting luxury. Right. So, um, you know, back in the day, Jaguar with the, with the E-Type and the Mark II had always been innovators in design as well as performance. And they, were, they were leaders in that. And, uh, and Jaguar's returning to that heritage, not in terms of heritage, backward-looking design, but back to that philosophy. So uh, with the new um, XFR and the XKR, you get beautiful, luxurious cars, but with exceptional performance, with 510 bhp, that's serious muscle, and it uh, propels the car 0 to 100 in, in less than 5 seconds. You don't really need to say much about the car, just look at it and drive it and, and it will be more with the power, but the drivability at the same time. Um, it, it, it gives you the performance when you want it, but the cruise, the comfortable cruising to make it a very usable car on a daily basis. So why, why should anybody uh, choose the uh, XKR and XFR over, say, 6 Series or an M5 or an SL? I, I think Jaguar, not just XKR and XFR, but Jaguar as a brand allows you to make a statement about uh, being a, an individual 
be standing out in the crowd a little bit uh, as an expression about your personality. And that's what our customers keep coming to the brand for, and many new customers are coming to the brand to be that, to make that little statement about them, um, uh, about their style. Uh, we have definitely seen um, a new uh, breed of buyer. We haven't lost our loyalist Jaguar customers who, who love the brand true and true, and who are who are they're still returning back to buy some of these exciting new models. But what we have seen is a new breed of Jaguar customer come to the marquee with the new, more modern interpretation of Jaguar's Heritage Q and the return to design innovation. I mean, the, the, the new cars are so striking, you really stand out from the crowd. And uh, we've seen a lot of uh, what we call Conquest customers from other premium marquees that are new to the brand, especially that's, and then that, that started largely from the uh, XF in uh, April of last year. Yes, I mean, especially the more sporty German brands. Um, we've had quite a few conquests, both from Mercedes and BMW. I would say uh, last year it was probably around uh, 50, 60 percent conquest customers. But we still, thankfully, our lawyers are still with us. So, where do you think the brand is right now when, when you compare it to those the Germans who are pretty much dominant in the luxury market in Malaysia and, and most of the world? I mean, I think, I think it depends on which segment of the luxury market you look at. Yes, we don't play in the lower price CKD locally assembled um, premium segment uh, due largely to price. The CKD competitors are priced cheaper due to the tax structure in Malaysia. So we, we believe we are very competitive in the uh, premium, fully imported uh, segment in Malaysia. XF has done very well in the 3 litre uh, XF uh, last year and continues to do very well this year. Um, and in XJ and XK, um, we have a disproportionate share relative uh, to our overall sales in those competed segments of the premium market. So um, last year we sold around uh, just under 90 uh, cars um, for Jaguar in Malaysia and that was uh, around 60-70% growth from the previous year and so despite the challenging economic environment uh, this year we're slightly ahead of uh, last year's uh, sales on a year-to-date basis so uh, given the economic condition to be ahead we aim to be uh, probably uh, around hopefully around 10 percent growth on last year 10 percent lower 10 percent growth last, growth last, last year, year. Okay. despite the uh, challenging conditions and despite you know last year was an xf launch year and usually the launch year is very very uh, spiky yeah. and then you taper back off right. despite that um, we managed to uh, continue to grow versus last year and, and we hope that we're confident that that will continue to grow the the new xj i just got back from london to to see the unveiling and uh, in the metal even more so is a striking car it really it really is uh, Another step forward in the design evolution that Jaguar started with the first version of the XK, um, followed by the XF, and now XJ is that next step in that evolution. And XJ is revolutionary. Um, uh, the exterior is uh, very aggressive and sleek and sporty in its styling, yet it's a full long wheel base with a large rear package and a sumptuous interior second to none. I think it looks like a concept car that they had, they had the guts to take to production. Um, we expect to get it in Q1 of, uh, end of Q1, early Q2 of next year. So maybe around April, March, April. And the XJ, without knowing price, without knowing arrival time, and uh, is already a few confirmed buys, but that's not new for us. Yeah. That will always be the case. The introduction of these two new sporty models will probably make Jaguars more popular in Malaysia. It is now up to Sisma Auto and their sales network to convince buyers that the brand can match the best modern luxury European models.